Okay guys, this is for Alicia and all of you, but Alicia is the one that really wants to see this. Now, this is my first time doing it, though I've seen this method for years and years and years. I just have always meant to do it, but I don't eat avocados. So anyway, I took the challenge because Alicia asked me and we'll see how it works out. So I've got my avocado, you cut it in half. You have to take that seed out. So you scoop that seed out and then it's gonna come with some avocado gunk on it that you'll want to wipe off and then actually rinse off. I'll show you in a minute. This one came out pretty clean. Um, had a little avocado on it because the avocado was soft but it looked really good I took it to the sink rinsing it off now I will dry it you want to keep the top of the avocado dry you don't want that submerged in the water it's important to know the difference between the bottom and the top and so let's take a look now here I'm drying it off and it was just really beautiful. Okay, here it is, okay? That's the bottom, that's the top. But we have to, we have to peel this skin. So you just get it started and it peels and you'll see sometimes it comes off in little pieces, sometimes it comes off in big pieces, but it doesn't take that long. And it's very important to do that because that skin, if you don't take it off, will harden. It will make it hard for the avocado to sprout, it makes it hard to see the fault lines. And that's important when you're sticking the toothpicks or in my case, I used um, the small little bamboo skewers because, but I didn't know what Jimmy did with the toothpicks. I didn't know where he put them. So I grabbed those little bamboo skewers that we use for like cake testing and stuff. And I just, you know, broke them off so I had the two pointy ends. You can use three toothpicks, but just remember, you've got to check out your fault lines. You never want to go through a fault line. I'll explain that in a minute here. Okay, so now it's completely peeled. That's the top. We'll clean up this mess over here. And what we're going to do is pay close attention to our fault lines. Okay, so here we have the two toothpicks or bamboo skewers. And pay attention to those fault lines. You never want to go through them. There's usually two or three of them on the seed, pit, seed, whatever you want to call it. So you're going to go in between. I'm just going to use two because they're longer than toothpicks and they will balance nicely in the mason jar. So I have one there. I'm just put one here.
push them in a little bit and there we have what looks like a little guy with arms uh, he looks like the little tippet man or something I don't know so I'm getting a mason jar I'm filling it with water we do not want to submerge it so it's going to be like that perfect right perfect let me fill it with water It will actually split apart and the sprout will come out and the roots will come on the bottom. Again, we're doing this together, so I will update. But if you want to start your seed now, you know, if you have one tonight or tomorrow or the next day, we'll all be on the same page together and we can compare results. You can send in pictures that we could share in a live chat. Okay, there's the little guy. I might have added a smidge more water but you see, um, he's really, he's down in there. He is submerged in there. I know it's hard to see in that angle, but he is submerged in there enough. Uh, you know, I, again, I added a smidge more water when I got him on the, on the window sill, And we'll see how he does there. Okay, guys. So... I am really excited about this. I will update as we go on and see some results. I would like you to start one with me, especially you, Alicia, and we'll see how we do. We can compare notes and pictures. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I'm going to clean this mess up now. I'll talk to you guys later.